What I wanted to do in this video is give my viewers out there an idea on this map. This is a map of Montreal. It's a public transit map. I'm here in a metro station, Charlevoix Metro. Uh, this is all, of course, the city of Montreal. Uh, this is the St. Lawrence River down here. And that is the Riviere de Prairie, this one on the top. Um, over here, of course, you can see the river splits. This is all technically the St. Lawrence, but they call this portion up here the Riviere de Prairie, and down here it's the St. Lawrence River. Um, now, I'm going to show you where all this action, all this flooding is taking place. Uh, this is Pierrefonds up here, this whole area up here is Pierrefonds, Roxborough. Up here is Ile Bazaar, this whole island. If you zoom in here, this is Ile Mercier. I'm going to try to focus my camera here. That's Ile Mercier. You've heard a lot about Ile Mercier in the, the news lately. Um, that little island just off of Ile Bazaar that got flooded. Uh, that's the one right there. And then down here is St. Anne de Bellevue, right down here. Um, now where this major flooding has occurred is, first of all, St. Anne de Bellevue is mostly in this area right here, the western part of St. Anne de Bellevue. Uh, there's been some minor flooding here on the boardwalk. And then up here, uh, of course, you have Ile Bazaar. Ile Bazaar has suffered a lot of flooding. And this is Ile Mercier right here, like I said. You can see there's a bridge that connects Il Bazaar to Il Mercier. That bridge completely underwater, that whole little island underwater. And then right across from here you have Pierrefonds. Um, this here is a hard hit area of flooding for Pierrefonds. Right up here near Chateau Pierrefonds. Um, this is St. Charles Street. The command post is around here, around uh, St. Charles and Pierrefonds Boulevard. And right up here is where a lot of this damage is. A lot of this flooding. Um, De Riviere Street's around here as well, I'm trying to focus. Uh, but up here is Gwen, Gwen Boulevard. So, I mean, again, this is just to give you a, a rough idea of where everything's happening. Uh, and you go down here, this is the bridge that connects Pierrefonds to Il Bazaar, the Jacques Bazaar. And Pierrefonds Boulevard, by the way, is right here, this long street. And then down here we have Saint Jean and Pierrefonds, which is right there. And there's Gwen and St. Jean, which is right there. And this breach, by the way, that I've been talking about lately, is actually coming from right there. The Riviere de Prairie spilling over from, try to zoom in here. Again, this is not a perfect camera, it's a, a smartphone. Uh, the water's coming right through here, this opening, down St. Jean Street, onto Pierrefonds Boulevard. And then you have this other little breach here of the sewage system. Uh, it's like a drainage ditch right before Il Bazaar that's also flooding this uh, Pierrefonds Boulevard. And of course, when that floods, a lot of these other side streets get all flooded as well. So that gives you an idea of where things are. Um, that video I took earlier of that the Fifth Avenue street being flooded was right beside the Roxborough Pierrefonds station. And it's right here. It's Fifth Avenue is right there, that street, right off the tracks. And then I walked from there all the way down to here, and that's where I got the video of that breach earlier on tonight. So just a little visual of, of what's happening. Uh, like I said, of course, St. Anne de Bellevue is down here. Um, and you go down here further down, this is Point Claire. Uh, and you have all these other little places as well. So, uh, I mean, you know, this is just a little idea of, of what I was talking about. And this is Laval, of course, up here. And you can't see it out, actually right here you can see it. This is Dumontain, another area that was hit by flooding as well. Uh, so I mean, it just gives you an idea of what's what's going on. Over here in the east, really not much happening as far as I know. But uh, you know, that new weather system coming this weekend, who knows what's possible. So uh, I wanna wish you all a very good evening and uh, I just wanted to show you visually on a map where things were. But again, it's mostly all this area here that has taken the hardest hit in terms of the flooding all around this area here. So have a good night everybody and uh, stay safe and see you all soon.